Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. In the honor of Valentine's Day coming up very soon here, I thought it would be really fun to do a video similar to one I did almost a year ago. Um, I'm not exactly sure when I did it, but I, anyways, gave you guys a whole bunch of date night ideas. And this time I like it to be specifically for Valentine's Day. If you guys are looking for date night ideas for Valentine's Day, um, it can be with your significant other or it could just be with a friend or something like that. Um, yeah, that's what's cool about these. A lot of these can be done with friends as well if you are not in a relationship. So I got together 14 of my favorite date night ideas and I tried to make them like mostly different from the ones in my other video. If you guys would like to see that other video I will leave the link in the description below and you guys can go ahead and watch that but for now I'm just going to give you some more date night ideas. The first one I found, I obviously didn't come up with these all myself, I always um, look on Pinterest or go to YouTube or whatever to find ideas and I just kind of collected my favorite ideas. So the first one I have is doing something like ice skating or um, tubing or skiing or something like that. I think that would be such a fun date night idea, especially the ice skating one. It can just be really romantic and fun. So that was number one. And number two is a fondue dinner at home. I always love those types of date nights, um, just cooking a special meal at home and yeah, you could do it together or you could surprise your husband with it when he comes home from work, whatever. Um, number three is breakfast in bed, so I guess it would be kind of more like a morning date type of a thing, but I think that would be really fun. Number four is make homemade pizzas. Um, our first uh, Valentine's Day as a married couple, I actually made little heart-shaped pizzas and they were super cute. It was kind of cheesy, but super fun. And I think it would be so much fun to do it together. You can each um, put your own toppings on um, and I think that would just be really fun. Um, number five is one that I had in my other video, um, but I love it so much that I'm going to put it in this video too. That is to build a fort in your living room. It is super fun doing stuff like that. It's like really cheesy and it's kind of kiddish, but it can just be a great way of just having fun together. Also, I made sure to uh, use my wifey mug for this video because I just thought it would be very fitting. Okay, number six recreate your first date. Um, we did this um, for I think our first dating anniversary. We um, yeah, went back to the restaurant where we ate and yeah it's just kind of fun. It brings back all the memories of your first date and yeah if you're a sentimental person like me you will love this idea. Number seven is bake sugar cookies and decorate them. Um, I am definitely planning on doing this. I'm not sure if it's going to be for a date night or if I'll just be making them and decorating them on my own, but I bought a heart-shaped cookie cutter and I think they're just gonna be super cute. This one is really fun. It's a silly string fight or a Nerf gun fight. I've always wanted to do this. I've never done it yet, but I think it'd be super fun. I've seen like ideas on Pinterest of um, just having like a Nerf gun by the door with a note for your husband and then like hiding somewhere in the house and just yeah just having a little Nerf gun fight. I think that would be such a blast. The next one is a spa night and I'm pretty sure I had this one in my other video but I think this is such a cool idea. I think it could be super romantic. You could do like foot soaks or give each other a back massage. I think doing face masks together would be super fun. So that is another idea for you. Number 10 is thrift store date. And I would love to do this sometime. Um, it's like where you each have like a certain amount of money, like maybe like 20 bucks or $25 or whatever you guys decide on. And then you just 
um, go into a thrift store and you find an outfit for each other um, for that amount of money and you can go like crazy and try to make it as embarrassing as possible or you can actually try to find them like a nice outfit or whatever and then you have to kind of yeah I think spend the rest of the evening in that outfit I'm not sure but yeah I think that would be super fun it would be very interesting to see what my husband would come up with <laughs> number 11 is a staycation um, there's lots of cute bed and breakfasts or Airbnbs around normally and yeah if you don't want to like travel far away this is a great way to just um, just have something different for like a night and a day or something like that. Next one is having a picnic and for us people that live in the cold areas of the world um, that doesn't really work unless you do it like in the living room and yeah we've done that it's really kind of fun just having a little picnic on the living room floor um, but I think it would be cool to like go to a park and do that as well if you live in a warmer climate. The next one is have a game night and that one is pretty self-explanatory if you have like certain games you like to play um, yeah you can go ahead and do that and the next one is a painting date and we have done this as well and it is super fun we um, tried to paint each other and we're both not artistic at all and so it was just really funny we had some good laughs and yeah you could paint each other or I've also seen the idea where you could maybe like watch a tutorial on YouTube or something like that um, and then try to follow the, follow the directions and um, see like actually make it into a contest like see who's is better so yeah that is all that I have and I just think all of these ideas are super fun. I definitely want to keep them in mind for um, date nights that me and my husband will have in the future. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope this gives you a great idea of what to do um, for Valentine's Day. I'm always looking for new date night ideas and so yeah, I hope this helped you guys and gave you some great ideas. Um, if you have any other ideas to add to that, feel free to leave them in the comments for everybody to see and I would love to read them as well. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time.